pretty soft enough. What else do you need? soft this is. I need to talk to you guys really quick because it's fresh in my mind. So, oh geez, where can I put you? Okay, I just went to College Station Nissan. I even got a nice water from them. Check it out. Um, and dude, honestly, I can't believe how good the Nissan Frontier drives. I don't get how people aren't buying those, first of all. So, as you guys know or may not know, I used to have a 2021 Tacoma TRD off-road. The steering, the steering feel sucked because it's way too light. My fiance's Honda Civic had, oh, how do you say? It? It's like, um, I forgot the word, but you know, the steering's a lot more, geez, we're gonna have to use Google. Where you at? Oh yes, stiff. So. I'm getting my thoughts together. So, the Nissan Frontier. Okay, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let's get ourselves together. I'm just recording. Okay, there's no structure to the video. We're just recording as we go in life. But yeah, so I went to Nissan. I went to go test drive, take photos and videos to share with you guys. But I test drove it because I've been so curious and I've been seeing so much on how good the Nissan Frontier drives. I've been seeing how good, how comfortable it is, the steering feel, how smooth it is. Everything about the Nissan Frontier is a lot more better than the Tacoma. I used to have a 2020, let me spit this gum out. I used to have a 2021 Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road. I have to be specific in case for other people's sake. And it was a V6 automatic, and everything that's practically wrong with the Tacoma, I feel like the Frontier has right. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. So first off, the steering on the Frontier is stiff, which gives it a truck-like feel compared to the Tacoma, which has a extremely light steering on the highway. I'm kind of concerned like, damn, I feel like if I even have to swerve off, I'm gonna go hit the damn wall. And so, you know, you actually kind of had to put in the work to turn the steering wheel and not as much as people I feel are exaggerating. So that's first, the steering is better in the Frontier. Stiff, like a truck, how it should be. The transmission and how it shifts is a lot better than the Tacoma. It's, I believe it's a nine speed automatic that comes in the Frontier and it's a lot more smoother. So the, that's the second thing. The transmission shifts, everything is smoother. The comfort of driving the Frontier that I did, it was a Pro 4X that came with Bilstein shocks that also came with the Tacoma. I'm not sure the exact Bilstein shocks, but it still had Bilstein's same color and everything that would come 
on the TRD off-road that I had. And, you know, I found the Tacoma, you know, when you're driving and taking bumps, it's kind of like, it's rough, you know, you're kind of like all over the place. But it was a lot more smoother in the Frontier, like I said. It just feels a lot more planted for some reason. And that's the third thing. What was it? The comfort of driving the Frontier is a lot more better. Okay, so we got, what is it? So that's the third thing. Um, man, what else am I missing? Oh, yes. <laughs> horsepower. Horsepower is the fourth thing. Dude, you, you step on it a little bit. It's already going. Like I said, with the nine-speed transmission, it is smoother. It goes with no problem. And the Tacoma with a lot less horsepower sitting, I mean, I wouldn't say a lot, but sitting at 278 compared to 310 horsepower on the Frontier. Honestly, that alone kind of sells me. Yes, it's a V6 truck. I'm not sure who is looking for, I don't know how to get my thoughts wrapped around that. But if I were me, and if there's anybody else who agrees, I wouldn't want a truck with the horsepower that the Tacoma comes in. I want what comes with the Frontier. It's just a lot more better. Everything about the Frontier, like I said, a lot more better, much more truck feel. And honestly, I'm sold. I am sold on the Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. That's gonna be my next truck midsize I know it seems wild to even say this considering the situation that I've been, but for you guys that don't know, I'm not here to live a normal life. I have one whole year to grind and take care of everything that's gonna be happening. Leading up to the wedding, moving out of here, everything, there's just so much. But anyway, the Nissan Frontier and what is it, the Blue Stone Pearl. It's a beautiful color. I love blue, I was sold on that color blue. And I'm being excited because I love Nissan. GTR is my ultimate dream car. But if I had to pick a truck, it's gonna be the Nissan Frontier. I don't need a full size, mid size is perfect. If you need to throw anything or pick up anything for the wifey because she's gonna want farm animals in the future and I just imagine having to tow our animals, get feed. Anyway, you know the whole gist. But to end it off, really I don't know how many, I don't know how people are not buying the Nissan Frontier. I think if you're a Toyota fanboy, girl, Toyota person, everything, you just need to go test drive the Frontier. It's like you're already judging without even giving it a try, you know? And so I went over to Nissan of College Station, Texas, and I went to go Hit up Justin Waller, who helped me out. Thanks a lot, shout out to you. If you guys need his business card, check it out. He was the only one that I saw on Instagram that is posting on behalf of Nissan because he has been there for about two, know, three years, I believe, three years. And he's also a local of Bryan College Station. So if you guys are in the area or wanna drive down to College Station Nissan, talk to him. He's a genuine guy, I like him. Um, although, I feel like what's funny is a lot of, uh, I don't know if it's because he just didn't know me, but yeah, uh, a lot of the, no, no, no. It's, it's, I was gonna say, I feel like a lot of the salesmen at uh, just dealerships are kind of quiet. They're introverts, but they're also this type of people that you wanna talk to because you know they can be outgoing once you start talking to them and getting to, them, to know them. But So once again, just a uh, shout out to Shout out. Shout out to Justin. Ugh. Shout out to Justin D. Johnson for helping me out at College Station Nissan. And they also had two pairs of Z's, same exact twins sitting in the showroom. So that was beautiful. But wow. Um, anyway, like I was saying, dude, I'm honestly so sold on the Nissan Frontier. And I really hope. If you're looking to have a mid-sized truck and you want to feel like you're driving a truck, test drive the Frontier. I cannot express it enough. 
It just feels so much better. And I can't wait to have one. I can't wait to have a truck again. The RAV4 is going to stick around for some time as the daily to be and everything. But really, for the truck, I want a Nissan Frontier. So Nissan, if you even want to send me one for a couple of months or a whole year to do content and review and help people out to make up their mind whether they really want to get a frontier i will help you guys out and that's literally why i went i went because i want to help them out post stuff on google so that way there's also recent photos videos but uh and i have to tell you guys man before i even left the house i was already doubting and questioning do i even want to do this and that is part of the battle that i have to deal with is because it's kind of an uncomfortable situation putting myself out there but i just kept thinking about all of you guys and how if there's anybody that needs help about making up their mind about the nissan frontier or wants to see photos wants to see videos because the main reason i also went besides the fact that i fell in love with the color that they came out for 2024 if you look up 2024 blue nissan frontier there's hardly any photos or sorry sure photos but on youtube there's hardly any videos about the new blue color and if there was there's like a couple of shorts or videos and they're just from salespeople at the dealership they're not anybody like me who wanted to go out and you know just take photos and videos to kind of get a little in-depth walk around about the truck at least with good quality so i try to do my best um, on the fly because I have a free day today So whatever I can put out for you guys, I'm gonna do my best to do so <sighs> But yeah, if you guys can please get this out to Nissan I'm telling you I've already have a list of Nissan Frontier content questions That I want to test out and do and obviously I want to enjoy it myself. I love the damn truck. I miss having a truck But anyway, so that's going to wrap it up for this video for now. <laughs> I did a, I did a, like I said, I did a, um, I did a test drive. So it was nothing crazy. It's just real life stuff. Like, hey, I, I asked him, like, can you hold it? That way I can get some footage for you guys. But I'm going to include the whole thing in the video and everything that was going on throughout the drive, th um, the test drive. So, um, yeah. Once again, if you're if you're somebody who loves Tacoma, Toyota, considering looking at a midsize truck, seriously, just test drive it out. Test it out. Try it. Don't just assume everybody's getting a Tacoma. I need to get a Tacoma because I've had a Tacoma. I was part of that same boat, but I've jumped out and I'm on the Nissan Frontier boat. It's you get the Okay, and I think I mentioned four things. The fifth thing, why you may want to even get the Nissan Frontier. Five, reliability. And with these right here, I'm going to slap you in the... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, fifth, you get the reliability still of a V6. In 2024, yes. we. I mean, if you want to get a turbocharged truck, you could. That's fine. But if you need something that's also really reliable or just as reliable naturally aspirated for me personally i prefer naturally aspirated because i know once i step on the gas i'm going i don't want to have to rely on turbos just to be able to go i know it could be a lot more torquey but honestly for peace of mind i'm getting a naturally aspirated v6 which comes on the current model of the nissan frontier so anyway that's it that's all I'm going to say to you guys about and ranting about it. But I love you guys. Try out Nissan. If you guys have any questions about the Nissan Frontier or anything that I can do to try to help you guys, let me know. Um, but yeah, because if you guys are uncomfortable with going to the dealerships, I'll throw myself out there. But I'm doing what I can to support these guys while we're still living here in College Station. So that's it. Anyway, deuces.